What's up, guys? This is D Fresh Kicks coming at you. I am uh, walking two blocks up to meet someone for um, selling uh, the Easy 500 Super Moon uh, Yellow Size 11 eBay Authenticated. Um, I've had them for a couple weeks now. So I decided to put the price down a little bit just to get them gone cuz I like right now I'm in uh, the I'm in the quick flip stage um where I want to get a shoe preferably for retail and I want to get it gone within 2 weeks tops because I just need to keep re recycling that money until I have enough to get a nice pot or something, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. So, you know, but that's the plan. So, it's a little windy, but it's a beautiful day on the island. We're on Long Island. It's where I'm based from. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do a little walk. And when I get up there, uh, well, we're gonna meet the guy and we're gonna do the deal So be right back with you guys and as you can see or may not see I wore something completely not hype today just some uh, some nice Wade Blazers with the Nike joggers and uh, Nice cream color Riot Society sweatshirt with the Supreme beanie, even though um, I'm, I'm still really upset with Supreme. There's some things that, you know, I bought that I wear. I mean, what am I just gonna like throw it right now? Like, can't resell you especially in the time we're right now. All right, now, it's really windy. I don't know if you could hear this cars and all that. I'm about to turn this corner and he's parked like literally right here. So you know that's good. Let's uh let's get this done. There's a lot of sound, a lot of whatever. My bad. Gotta get the backpack ready. Dark gray Hyundai. Let's see. What up? What's up, bro? What happened? Good, good. How about you? Yeah, these uh, these sold on eBay today, but the guy's payment said it was like weird. So like, so PayPal was like, um, we're gonna wait 24 hours until we verify that. So like, don't ship. I'm like, forget this. I'm like, I already made a deal with you because I forgot to take them down. But they're eBay authenticated. They're brand new. Brand new. They should have the tag on the other shoes. So I've had them for like a, a minute now. That's why I'm getting rid of them for so low. <laughs> I wanted like honestly, I wanted 275 because they do go for like 293. Ah, right, so this is what always happens. Well, it doesn't always happen. It happens a lot when you're dealing with, I mean, you make more money selling it, you know, Facebook, Instagram, all that. But, every, like, a lot of times, I've had it happen many times, you get there and they nitpick, like, the littlest, the littlest teeny thing that, like, literally, I've seen lately come like that straight from factory. I've seen 
If you watch the sneaker addict or whatever, if you watch the episode about um, Fire Red Forest, it was either him or one of the guys on there got a pair from Nike that was like tried on worn, had like um, lint in it, all that, like crease. Like these companies are like they don't care. Like I I I made the video on the Supreme about re receiving these items, not opening them, sending them straight to Stock X, and then failing due to like there being inconsistencies and like stains and like that's what makes this like I feel like. It's almost like a scam. You know, you're, you're paying, you're doing everything you can do. Keeping it in the box, keeping it wrapped up, not even opening it. And you still can't sell certain stuff as dead stock. Like, what's up? I've seen this now. This is the third company, Supreme. I've seen it with Nike Jordan. And now... I've seen it with Adidas only like once or twice, but um, there's there's some uh, there's some serious QC problems, and now I'm starting to have an issue with that. Like, even if I buy straight retail, I have to worry about these little minor, and that's also on the buyers end. Like sometimes they're just like I can't say it. But, um, they're too nitpicky. Things, a lot of times with these companies, things are not perfect. Like I said, I've legit seen, like, verified, like, people getting things in from other companies. It just happened to me with Supreme. out that I still don't know I'm getting those packages back in today so supreme dead stock straight up that's dead stock because I never opened it none of that dead stock couldn't sell it Nike I've seen it Reese's Lint Dirt sometimes and sometimes I'm not gonna lie Websites all day. They're not like you know, obviously worn, like you know, or fake or whatever the case may be. You know, they'll they'll take that. But that's just three different situations, three different brands. I've dealt with it now. Or I dealt with it with Adidas before, but Supreme is the one that really got me angry. Because like literally, I didn't even open it out of the white packaging that you did it in the mail. I took it out of that to throw it in a box to ship it to StockX. Two items, not even open out of the however they ship its packaging. Didn't even open it because I listed it and I sold it. So, you know, you just got to be careful. You, you have a case. I'm not sure because, you know, you could definitely, I mean, I, I would never want to sell something that's worn as dead stock. That's not me. I, I'm, I want to keep my reputation good, spotless. So I tried to work with him because I got them from eBay authentication as dead stock. I never wore them. I took pictures of them 
and maybe that's how it got a smudge on the bottom. So, I took $10 less. It is what it is, yeah. I understand where he's coming from. No hard feelings. It's the name of the game. It could just start eating away at you because all these brands are just... They're not caring what they're sending out to people. And mind you, that shoe is like three years old. So, I mean, even dead stock moved around from two, three, four people. I mean, I'm sure a smudge or something could come up somewhere. But SneakerCon, who is eBay's authenticator, deemed that dead stock and they sent it to me. So, I mean, it's a double edge. It's a, <laughs> you know, there's nothing I could do about it. And that's my sales vlog for the day. It didn't go perfect. I feel bad. I mean, I didn't notice the, like, teeny. There was literally, like, a couple, uh, little, it looked, it looked like dust. Like, you could wipe it right off. But I went with it. And it's cool, you know. You gotta, sometimes you have to eat 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 ish to like you know to keep going to keep your name going you never want your name to be considered bad you don't want that you know you want to be trusted you want to try to grow your business and that's what i'm doing but that's the end of the vlog today it's a long one so i don't know if you're gonna want to watch it i'll try to cut out some stuff but um like subscribe do whatever. I'm in a whatever mood. I didn't hit I didn't hit on any of the shoes today. So, you know, that's a little disappointing, but is what it is. Comes with the territory. But um have a blessed day.